Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I have accepted. Warswe Godzai Akran Airwandans Ja Wan Jantans in Ufkunpa. In Pamelhap Fralet Forte Fuima Elizos Kaskaf Tais. Then I shall do my best to win. Anabudano was ni parasibis jura wiscom ufra nenim ja. Corellia's all out war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. He's using the battle to enhance his prestige in the Kagaf. Makes sense. There are better way to win glory than in battle. Anabudano was. Ni parasibis jura wiscom ufra nenim ja. Moff Pyron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get. My lord, Thanaton has wasted no time. He's cut off transport from this sector and trapped you here. I don't understand. What is Thanaton's plan? I can only assume he intends to limit your resources and keep you contained. My fleet is on its way. But it's useless as long as we're trapped here. Darth Charnas can help you with the transport problem, but we need to understand what we're up against if we're going to counter it. You can't expect me to stay trapped. You'll have a plan, and I want to be ready for it. I have my best analysts working on getting you all the intelligence we can, my lord. My lord Moff Pyron, Thanatons removed the commander of the 115th at the island's outpost. He's sent Lord Scar to take over. Hmm. Scar is Thanaton's apprentice. Thanaton probably intends to secure a victory in the Kagath by winning the battle at the island's outpost. But I'd be wary. Do you think it could be a trap? I'd count on it. Still, Lord Scar will be aware of his master's long-term plans. That knowledge could be priceless. Then I have no choice. Trap or not, I must strike at Scar. This may be our best chance at learning Thanaton's plan and confounding it. But I must ask that you not kill Scar until we can replace him. Without a commander, the outpost is sure to fall. Whatever you do, find out as much as you can about Thanaton's schemes. Good intel is key to victory. The pleasure of your arrival was expected, my lord. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. I could use more Dark Council allies, but not if they're allied with Thanaton. Darth Decimus shares your distaste for Thanaton, which is why he extends this offer. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection, but the ensuing occupation has met difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. Who is Darth Charnas? The Imperial Authority on Incorporation Island. For now, he is the closest you'll get to Darth Decimus. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. Coronet City, the jewel of Corellia. Home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. 
Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, requested your assistance. He says only the most powerful Sith can help us win Corellia. What's happening here? This planet was ripe for conquering. Darth Decimus plotted our assault and we moved in. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high-speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Why the hesitation? We're preparing to strike the rebels responsible for these heinous assaults. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation, the oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. Storm the company and shut them down. It's the only way we'll break their blockade. I agree completely. Unfortunately, CEC shielded against conventional attacks. There's only one way in. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientist to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic, and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkas joined the rebellion, and they refused to hand over their Hullcracker. Some broken fingers should loosen their grip on this weapon. The Hullcracker's under constant guard. Destroyed Zerka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zerka territory, then we'll liberate that hull tracker. Zerka's camps are destroyed. How do we get the hull tracker? I'll connect you to Darth Charnas at once. My ship afforded a spectacular view of your work. Zerka's forces swarm like confused insects. They've regrouped to defend the Hive, leaving the Hullcracker storage facility vulnerable. Zerka reeks of panic. We must take their explosive now. Captain Jastel's team is in place, ready to grab the Hullcracker. You will lead a more direct attack. Your target is Bral Tavar. He's Zerka Corellia's figurehead, the definition of corporate sleaze. Bral Tavar has the Hullcracker's detonation codes. Without them, the bomb's useless. Break into his executive offices, get the detonation codes, then call me. My men will already have the Hullcracker. Murder and mayhem await. Delightful. Punish Zerka for their defiance. Then contact Commander Jastel. He'll have the Hullcracker secured by the time he hears from you. I assure you, gentlemen, Corellian Engineering Corp. has nothing to fear. The C9X droid will serve you well. Just keep your Hullcracker out of Imperial hands. We hear they've already breached your walls. A mild annoyance. Even if the Empire grabs our weapon, it's useless without the proper codes. Tell CEC's board I have the situation under control. You have no idea what you're talking about. Hold strong, Brawl. Better to die free than live under the Empire's fist. Speak for yourself. Here, take the Hullcracker's detonation codes. Just, please, don't hurt me. Zerka's finished, and CEC's next. Commander, Brautavar is dead. The detonation codes are secure. Good work. Thanks to your earlier assault, my men secured the Hullcracker and prepped it for the blast. In the meantime, Darth Charnas wants to speak with you aboard the Tears of Taris. He's ready to assault CEC. Here are the detonation codes. Brautavar was eager to hand them over. I'm sure he was. Thanks to you, the Zerka Corellia Hullcracker is ours. These codes will awaken its power. Commander Jastel briefed me on your handling of the Brawl Teva situation. His untimely end certainly broke Zerka's resistance. Brawl Teva's punishment will scare every rebel on Corellia. If you want to really break the rebel spirits, help me close Corellian Engineering Corporation. With the Hullcracker in our possession, we can finally shut down CEC and end their attacks on our rocket trams. 
But first, we must deal with their army. Legions of battle droids defend the CEC fortress. Our explosives team can't get close enough to detonate the hull cracker. CEC commands them somehow. Cut the droids off and they lose control. You're right. CEC uses signal towers to direct their army. It's their only weak point. Bringing down the signal towers will disrupt the droids. Our explosives team sneaks in, detonates the hull cracker, and blows the CEC doors wide open. CEC is about to lose contact with their army. Once you remove the signal towers, contact Commander Craig in CEC territory. He'll prepare you for our final assault. The CEC signal towers are down. The droids aren't getting coordinated orders. Very good. With their security confused, we can take the Hullcracker right to CEC's doorstep. Everything is in place, Darth Jarnas. Finally. Once CEC falls, the rocket trams can spread our forces across Corellia. Then this planet will be ours. We must move quickly. Zerka's Hullcracker is already in the field. Are you ready to shove it down CEC's throat? CEC will choke on Circa's gift. Then I'll cripple their ion cannons. Their board of directors doesn't know what they're up against. Show them no mercy. Commander, have your explosive steam prime the hull cracker. Once you're in, sack the board of directors and disable the ion cannons. When the rocket trams are back online, we'll ramp up our invasion. First you break into my company, then you barge in here without an appointment. My droids will throw you out piece by piece. Then Darth Charnas will realize CEC can't be taken. Delusions may shield your sanity, but they won't protect CEC. This is C9X, the perfect marriage of Zerka's lethality and CEC's inspired engineering. Even controls nearby droids with a custom signal emitter. Combat tests went through the roof. Costs a fortune, but that's the price of freedom. The dark side breaks one's chains. Nothing else. How inclusive of you. No wonder Corellia is so eager to welcome the Sith. Come on, C9X, show your stuff. Business is war, gentlemen, and we've almost got the scum beat. Uh, Master Moss, we have company. You? That means C9X. You destroyed him? Impossible. I bet you'll come apart much easier than that tank of yours. You're not laying a finger on me. Droids, attack! Benton, he has the C9X signal emitter. Maybe we should do what he says. Aurelian Engineering Corp. stands for something. This is our chance to do the same. Go ahead. Turn our droids on us. If you enslave CEC, it won't be with our help. You heard him, droids. Open fire. Beautiful work. The CEC director's death shook the rebellion. We'll ensure their new leadership is more sympathetic to our cause. My master wishes to express his gratitude. I am Darth Decimus, member of the Dark Council, architect of Corellia's invasion. From slavery rises the most powerful Sith in generations. 
Dalthanaton is right to fear you. Corellia is filled with wretched people, crude, scheming animals, begging to be conquered. We can help them by winning this battle, but I require your help. My duty is my life. Charity is for the weak and the lazy. The Empire is neither. You'll be well rewarded. Follow me and you'll swim in the spoils of war. But first, we destroy the Rebellion. We must decorate Corellia with their dead. Take a rocket tram to the ruins of Labor Valley. Help Major Tradic burn the Rebels out of hiding. Then we will speak again. Enough of this to your posts. Are you Imperials or dogs? We will consume this galaxy in fire before this war is done. Fall behind and you will burn too. Lord Scar, what a pleasure to finally meet you. Don't pretend on my account. We both know how this ends. Imperials, attack this Sith. He is a traitor to the Empire. Yes, my lord. He's the traitor, not me. Lord Scar's the traitor, not him! Have your Kayath mark. Go on. Tell me your master's next move. Oh, oh, oh. Please, no more of that. Moth Pyron's fleet is your best asset. Thanaton plans to destroy the fuel refinery so the fleet can't refuel. Without fuel, your fleet is useless. Where does he plan to launch his attack? The Salonian tunnels. He's using them to enter the refinery and plant the bombs to destroy it. Hurry. If you don't stop Thanaton, the fuel lines will be destroyed and your fleet will be stuck. Thanaton plans to enter the fuel refinery through the Salonian tunnels and destroy it. I knew Thanaton was determined to stop you, but this... The fleet is scheduled to arrive at Corellia shortly, but we can't refuel without that refinery. If he is allowed to destroy the refinery, you might as well surrender the Kagath now. I protect my resources, Pyron. You can depend on that. Get to the Salonian tunnels, quickly! Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
Welcome to the Blitz, my lord. Darth Decimus told me you'd be gracing us with your presence. What we've got here is a clean-up operation. Factories were moving massive amounts of supplies to rebels across Corellia. Bomber brigades came in. We rained fire on their heads, ripped the factories apart. We just need to beat down the rebels hiding out inside. Such decisiveness is exactly why the Empire will win Corellia. I'm honored to serve. Unfortunately, I've had to deal with some unsavory company in the process. We're getting intel from an inside source. Unfortunately, his dalliances with the local women make him perpetually late. Manners, Major Tradic. We all have our vices. I'm sorry we haven't met. I'm Darbin Sol, Corellia's top counselor, friend to the Empire. I hope the Major hasn't dirtied my reputation. I hear you're feeding us intel on the rebels. I have friends, no, acquaintances in the Resistance. I pretend I'm sympathetic to their fight, and they tell me things, like who's supplying them. Certain factories were churning out military-grade munitions, battle droids, you name it. All donated right to the Resistance across the Core Worlds. That's why we bombed those factories into an inferno. Not quite the subtle approach I hoped for. The bombardment trapped the rebels in the burning wreckage. Now they're angry, desperate, and sitting on the largest weapons stockpile in the core. If the rebels get those weapons functional, we may as well abandon Corellia. Next time, do it yourself. Those Corellians fight dirty. Whatever munitions they've got have downed every squad sent their way. You'll do better. Just wipe out their weaponry. If I know my people, they'll bow to the Empire once their hope is crushed. Not bad, but not enough. Now everyone sees your weakness. You've saved your fleet, but you've let the enemy slip from your grasp. as we speak. As soon as it's done refueling, I want it in position and ready to deploy. With pleasure, my lord. We've located Thanaton's main base of operations on Corellia. An old Republic Command Center inside the Museum of Corellian Industry. All of his resources are centered on that base. And better still, few people know that it no longer belongs to the Republic. We must obliterate Thanaton's base. Get the fleet ready. The fleet has more than enough firepower to do the job, but unfortunately the base is shielded from within against orbital attacks. If I know Thanaton, the place is just as heavily guarded inside. To take out those shields, you'll want a strike force at your back. Are you offering your men to help me? I'm afraid I don't have a man to spare, and certainly none with the kind of training you'd need. You'd want field commandos. There's an Imperial Commando outpost outside the Coronet City Zoo. They should get you inside the base to destroy the shield generators. When the shields are down, the fleet will strike. The rebel weapons shipments are stopped permanently. The resistance is broken. Good show. See what a little elbow grease can do, Major? Can it, Darbin? Darth Decimus will want to hear this. Major, Counselor, and my good friend, what news on the rebel supplies? Destroyed, my lord. The resistance in Labor Valley is defeated. That's not entirely accurate. Their weapons are in flames, but the rebellion here is still kicking. I'm aware of that persistence, Counselor. Intelligence monitored the rebels' retreat. They slithered into the tunnels beneath Coronet City, like the worms they are. What tunnels? 
there's a network of underground pipelines. Rumor says they stretch kilometers beneath Coronet City. All of it, Salonian territory. If those furry aliens are part of the Resistance, we'll blast them off Corellia. Patience, Major. The Salonians are fierce warriors. Those tunnels are their nest. Your men wouldn't survive five minutes. You don't know the half of it. I've seen holos of a gang that attacked the tunnels. Clawed to pieces. I don't have a weak stomach. That's why you're the hotshot and I'm the public servant. The rebels are down there collaborating with the Salonians. They're following the orders of Myrtle, a vicious warrior, and the Salonians' den mother. Her tunnels are the rebels' lifeline. Moving troops and supplies beneath Coronet City. Take Myrtle's lair, and we'll fracture the rebellion. The Salonian tunnels will soon belong to the Empire. Storm the Salonian Warren and deal with them. Once you're in, Imperial forces will cut off their escape. As for you, Darbin, I require your unique perspective elsewhere. Take the first rocket tram to Axial Park. Wait my orders. Right away, my lord. Corellia's Prime Minister-to-be is happy to serve. Domesticate the Salonians or kill them. May the dark side guide you. I've heard much of the Salonians' fearsome leader. What say Quixie, Hoopki Makti, Kedai Tumaskane, Tanmiik Saigatsi? I'd rather hear what a Salonian scream sounds like. Corellia is under new management, Myrtle. Impressive work, my lord. These rebels were foolish to fight a Sith of your power. I am General Hesker, Imperial Guard. Darth Decimus sent us to assist. Awfully convenient for you to show up the second Myrtle's down. You, the fleeing rebels slowed us. I had to cut through the tide to reach you. We flanked the den and caved in the tunnels behind us. The rebels' transportation network is crushed. As for the Salonians, Darth Decimus leaves their fate in your hands. We'll kill every last Salonian on Corellia, starting with you. I will convey your orders. No Salonian will be spared. Finally, we can focus on our fight with the Republic. Corellia's once pristine Axial Park is now a war zone. The Republic's desperately fighting to regain control. Darth Decimus hopes you'll lead our offensive. We collapsed the tunnels leading out, so you must take a rocket tram to Axial Park. Meet me in our garrison. We'll crush them. You honor me again, my lord. Welcome to Axial Park. Our battle needs your presence and your lightsaber. This used to be the most beautiful parkland in all Republic space. Of course, our fights changed the landscape considerably. Darth Desmus will brief you on the specifics. Impressive work choking off the Salonians. This fight, however, will demand the full scope of your passion, strength, and power. The Republic is going all out to hold Axial Park. They know that control over Corellia hangs in the balance. The park's crawling with shock troops, battle droids, and special forces, all led by one very dangerous Jedi. We've never faced such a massive Republic deployment. How is the Empire retaliating? We've blocked off side streets, forcing the Republic into open warfare. On the ground, we have artillery, special ops, walkers, every ingredient for victory. But this battle demands more. Corellia won't be ours while the Rebels still stand. We must crush their army here, break the Republic, and take Axial Park. Then we're primed to strike at the Rebellion's heart.
General Hesker, tell your men to follow my command. We're going to crush the Republic Army. Excellent. But you'll have more than Imperial forces nipping at your heels. You remember the corrupt Corellian counselor, Darbin Sal. Are these restraints really necessary? Darbin is now your prisoner. He will join your foray into Axial Park, and you will deliver him to the Republic. How exactly will that help? The Counselor is helping us to infiltrate the Republic. Take him into battle as your captive, then lose him. Darbin should remember the rest. Like my mother's face, I charm my way into the Republic. Once you win Axial Park, I help bring them down from the inside. Precisely. Unleash Darbin, conquer Axial Park, and you'll plant the seed for our final victory. Hold nothing back. Look at Darbin. The fresh face, cheerful spirit. Not damaged enough to be an Imperial prisoner. Hold still, Darbin. I wouldn't want to blind you. Wait, you can't be serious. Much better. When the Republic questions your loyalty, show them your bruises. You deliver this rodent, and I'll direct your strikes against the Republic army itself. Well, that was exhilarating. I've never fired one of these things before. Maybe I'll get some practice in on my way to the Republic. The Empire is your master. Don't forget that. No need to worry. The Republic's on its way out, and I don't ally with losers. Farewell. When this is over and I'm Prime Minister, I won't forget you. General, Darbin's armed and ready. Finally. Now to the battle at hand. Our gun batteries are under assault. Drive off the Republic forces. Once the guns are safe, I'll have additional intel and orders. My lord, unbelievable. I never expected to see you again. I'm sure you don't remember me. You're right. I don't. Major Illen. Well, I was Captain Illen then, wasn't I? Served under Major Bessica. He got what he deserved, if you recall. After Balmoral was secured, they transferred me to the Sullust sector. And when the war broke out, they sent me here. What can I do for you? We don't have much, but what we do have is yours. I'm sure you've heard of my feud with Darth Thanaton. I am prepared to strike at his base, but I need backup. There's a need I'm all too familiar with. We've been getting clobbered, but we're expecting reinforcements. When they arrive, I should be able to form an assault squad for you. Major Illen, Republic soldiers incoming. all the difference, my lord, but I don't know how long we can hold this position. We've been losing soldiers as fast as we can replace them, but if you need the Empire's finest, we're there for you. Good. I can't afford any more distractions. Your wish is their command, my lord. Once you're inside Thanaton's base, use this signaler, and I'll send my men the order to attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
You are too canny. Defense protocol six, now, now! It's you, my lord. It's madness. Artillery blasts, Republic troops everywhere. I thought we were finished. Control your fear, Lieutenant, or I'll control it for you. Understood, my lord. General Hesker, he awaits an audience with you. Good work out there. Darbin's met his rebel contact. Axial parks covered with Republic casualties. But they're not retreating yet. The rebels are massing at the Sith War Memorial Garden. A pit. Honoring Jedi scum who fell to our first invasion 300 years ago. Naturally, that's where the Republic base lies. Guarded by battle droids, Jedi, and a battalion of their best shock troops. You name the weapon, they have aimed it our way. Someone's responsible for this mess. We must enslave him to our will. There is such a man, my lord, but he won't break easily. Lieutenant, his profile? Yes, sir. Master Corin Tok. A Zabrak Jedi Knight, Republic war hero, and veteran of the sacking of Coruscant. One of the few survivors. Many Sith fell to his lightsaber that day. He earned himself a pretty little reputation. Survivors claimed he was invincible. Blaster bolts splashing off skin. Lightsabers failing in his presence. I say it's that special armor under his robes. Since then, Master Corin Tark has aged into a hardened warhorse. His myth has grown. And he stands between us and control of Axial Park. Corellia's future lies with the Empire. No Jedi will prevent that. We will attack at once. You'll have the full support of the Imperial military. Lieutenant, order your men to strike the Memorial Garden. Hit every monument. Erase all signs of the Republic's past victory. I need you to spearhead the attack. Storm the Republic base and bury the Jedi Master. We take Axial Park now! So, you're responsible for the Empire's sudden victories. I'm surprised you'd have the courage to face me. You know I can't be killed. Blasters, grenades, even lightsabers. No effect. I've defended the Republic for decades without a scratch. Some even call me the Sith Butcher. Not to my taste, but accurate enough. Words won't mask your fear. I can smell it wafting out of every pore. Overconfident. Like Darth Malak, who the men and women here died to defeat. This garden honors champions of the Jedi Civil War. Heroes, Revan, Bastila Shan, and my ancestors, Zabrak, who fought to save the galaxy. I follow in their great tradition. When I strike you down, the Empire loses its only hope of taking Corellia. Killing you will be such fun. Corellia! Funny. I'd almost 
forgotten what pain felt like. Surely I'm trophy enough for you today. The wounded here are barely clinging to life. Just go. Leave them in peace. I came here to win Axial Park, not torment the infirm. At least there's that. The medical droids will evacuate the patients. I can't protect them anymore. I've killed the unkillable Jedi. Axial Park belongs to the Empire. One absurd rumor of an invincible Jedi safely put to rest. Your powers are only rivaled by the Dark Council itself. It's been an honor, my lord. I really am the best. That is why the Empire still requires your talents. Darth Decimus is personally overseeing our final battle on Corellia. He's requested an audience with you in person. A great honor. You'll find him in Capitol Square, the heart of Corellia's power structure. Assist the Dark Lord and secure this planet for the Empire. Few have had the pleasure of my company. Fewer survived the experience. But you've earned my attention. Together we will end this rebellion and win Corellia for the Empire. The rebels have hounded us long enough. I look forward to making them squirm. I'm grateful for the help. Win this final battle, and I will fully support your ascension to the Dark Council. Thanks to you, Axial Park is ours, and Darbin Sul is embedded with the Republic. All the pieces are falling into place. Now our only competitors for this planet are the Green Jedi, Corellia's sworn protectors. The Rebellion will fester, as long as their council stands. Why are these Green Jedi so vital to Corellia's defense? They've defiled this planet for generations, perfecting Corellia's defense, researching the Force. All from within their impenetrable enclave. That's why you aided Darbin Sol's escape in Axial Park. The Corellian Counselor has weaseled his way inside the Green Jedi's enclave. Now he awaits my word. Darth Decimus, what a pleasant surprise. It's time, Counselor. If you wish to become Corellia's Prime Minister, prove your worth. Let us into the Enclave. About that. The Green Jedi kinda increased security? I, I can barely breathe in here. You need two access codes to get in. I lifted one from a Green Jedi Counselor. I had to hug the guy to get close. It was awkward. Why should I believe a word you say? I'd never lie. Well, not to you. Just hear me out. After you took Axial Park, the entire Green Jedi Council fell back into the Enclave, except Master Bedak. He's cracked, always prepping for Corellia's days of darkness. Now they've come, he refuses to abandon the Republic Foundation Museum. So the Jedi thinks he can save the Republic's precious historic trinkets. How valiant. Smart, too. Museum security's tighter than most military bases. Plus, the building's crawling with shock troops and green Jedi. So you should visit the museum, take a tour, see the exhibits, grab Master Bedok's access code. I'm not really a museum person. At least the Jedi will provide a nice distraction. Word in the Enclave is Master Bedok's locked himself in the museum's vaults. Disable security and you can reach him. You've served us well, Darbin. Stick close to the Green Jedi. Await my orders. Master Bedok will be expecting you. Head to the Republic Foundation Museum. Secure his access code. Then report back. And cause some collateral damage. The more relics destroyed, the more Republic history we erase. Breaking spirits is important. How can a Dark Council member just disappear? We have to find him before he has a chance to strike. I've got every analyst in my command on it. I'm calling in favors with Imperial Intelligence. As I suspected, you don't have the power to defend your own. Half measures count for nothing in the Kagath. Now... See if you can finish what you've started. The show will be at the government plaza. Everyone will be there. Don't miss it.
I knew this day would come. Everyone hoped the Sith would ignore us. But here you are, corrupting our planet. Corellia revolutionized the shipbuilding industry, pioneered hyperspace travel, founded the Republic. You will not ruin everything we've built. You're defending a planet infected with corruption. But that's how the Empire gained a foothold. A few bad seeds don't ruin the whole. Simply remove the infection. Protect the relics, men. Rid Corellia of this scum's presence. Medic's dead. I have his access code. Finally. Nothing will stop us from striking the Green Jedi's enclave. This is it. The final battle for Corellia. What's our status, General? Imperial forces are converging on Capitol Square. Then we attack. You've proven your worth in battle. Now lead our army against the Jedi enclave. The Green Jedi will despair at our superior strength. Cut them down! Don't stop until you've killed their leader. Master Arfan Ramos, commander of the Green Jedi. The rebels call him Corellia's savior. He hides within a shell of Vertio, but there's anger within him. We sent extermination squads after Master Ramos. He killed them all, then retreated to his enclave. Now he's single-handedly keeping the rebellion alive. The more challenging, the better. Respect Master Ramos. Provoke his fury and you'll break him. But first the Enclave. Darben Sul will help you breach the Council Chambers. Now go. Today we decide Corella's future. I've been expecting you. Welcome to our Enclave. I can sense your hatred. It fuels your power. The Green Jedi only want Corellia's freedom. Tell Darth Decimus the Rebellion can't be killed. Then leave this planet forever. You're terrified, and you should be. Soon this enclave will be smoldering ash. You can do no such thing. Master Ramos? There is no emotion. There is peace. Stop your Jedi nonsense, Ramos. General Hesker, how good of the Emperor to loosen your leash. To arms, Jedi. Preserve the Republic. Protect Corellia. <laughs> It was a pleasure to see your powers in action, my lord. I'm here on strict orders. We're to secure the courtyards and guard your rear. Good to know the Imperial Guard's watching my back. Wish we could see you further. Give Master Ramos my regards. Back to it, men. Leave no Jedi alive. I knew you'd make it. You should have seen Master Ramos after you stomped his ambush. His face went bright red, and then he smashed the comm station. I've inspired my share of frustrations, especially in my enemies. Now Master Ramos knows who he's dealing with, and he's not taking any chances. He's got a small army of Green Jedi waiting for you on the other side of that door. I could stir up a distraction. I'd blow my cover, but I'll do it if you really want me to. The longer you go undetected, the better. I'll dispatch these Jedi myself. Good. But I was willing. That's what counts, right? Now, let's get these doors open. Just enter the two access codes and... There. Good luck. I'll see you in no time. Master Ramos, 
The Council's concerned. All due respect, Counselor, but now is not the time. Ah, come in. I'd introduce you around, but I think we're past small talk. I don't know how you slip past security. We'll repair the flaw after you're dispatched. Let's not be hasty, Ramos. We've had a good run. Surrender sounds good right about now. Have faith, Counselor. Corellia's citizens look to the Green Jedi for guidance. We won't abandon them now. The Green Jedi's followers are traitors to the Empire. I'll execute them right after you. You'll never lay a hand on them. Master Ramos, remain calm. Remember your teachings. This is what happens when you cross the wrong people. Ramos, you know we stand behind you. Now... Control yourself. I'm sorry. I... I don't know what came over me. All right. Party's over. They're all yours. Blasted Jedi. They've interfered with Corellian politics for the last time. It's done, Darth Decimus. The Green Jedi Council's finished. Excellent. Without that Jedi, the Rebellion will crumble. Nothing will stop this miserable planet from joining the Empire. And we have you to thank. So, what now? I take over as Prime Minister, appointed for my loyal service to the Empire. That was our agreement, wasn't it? I can see it now. Corellia rebuilding under the glorious leadership of Darbin Sull. But freedom allows rebellion, and we've had enough of that. Perhaps we erase Corellia's would-be leader and rule with an iron fist. Chain Corellia too tight and you risk more violence. But show them trust. Put Darbin in charge and they'll peacefully bow to the Empire. Exactly. I'll show them the Empire's looking out for our best interests. That's enough, Prime Minister Sal. Save your enthusiasm for the official ceremony. This is a historic day. And it must be properly commemorated. Report to me at once, so the Empire can give you the recognition you deserve. People of Corellia, citizens of the Empire, today marks a new beginning. The Green Jedi have repented. The battle for Corellia is over. Our champion stands before us, fresh from battle. He deserves our deepest respect. No existing award fits your triumph, so I bestow you, for the first time in galactic history, our newest and highest honor, the Medal of Imperial Glory. Thank you, Darth Decimus. I'm proud to have freed Corellia from the Republic's tyranny. As you should be. 
Your actions have altered the course of the galaxy, and you deserve recognition. There is another hero in this story. Corellia's most esteemed counselor. For fighting to broker peace, I officially name Darben Sul Prime Minister of Corellia. He will oversee this planet's future with minimal Imperial oversight. I thank you, people of Corellia, for your support, and the Empire for this chance to serve. But my greatest thanks go to you for ending the rebellion and restoring freedom to Corellia. We made a good team, Darbin. No one's better suited to lead this planet. Thank you, but I, I, I must repay the respect. Come, Councilman, show your gratitude. Bow to Corellia's new savior. Councilor Jalta, take a knee. I don't answer to Imperial puppets. He can't say that to me. Kill him! I can take your worst Sith tricks. Just know, the Corellians will always fight for their planet. Your pathetic friends will surrender in droves when they see what I do to you. Look at your counselor. This is what happens when you spit in the Empire's face. Anyone else have something to say? Good. Counselor Jolta isn't alone. Corellia still crawls with the confused, the angry, the violent. Let us clear up their misunderstanding. As Prime Minister of Corellia, it is my pleasure to declare Corellia an official member of the Empire. Perhaps you'll share a few words to mark this historic occasion. Something to inspire the galaxy. There are two ways to serve the Empire. I know them both. Prove your worth and make the galaxy take note of your power. Or rot in slavery, chained to your masters. A fitting fate for you worms. Lucky for you, your fate's not in my hands. Surrender to the Empire or else. Corellia would join again if we could. Well spoken. Now let us close these proceedings. Corellia has finally claimed its rightful place with the Empire. The rest of the galaxy will follow. Nothing will stop us from winning this war. Long live the Empire! Long live the conqueror of Corellia! <laughs> <laughs>